they call me Eight Finger Eddie because I do have eight fingers. I was born with this hand. It's not, not no accident. In India, if you're born with a hand like this, uh, any any kind of thing like this, um, you're a very lucky person. My age is uh, 85. I'll be 86 next next month. I used to go to uh, Bo uh, Cobra Beach. Cobra Beach. I was in Cobra Beach and. I had a house where people could come and, and stay, and I, I made food, or, and uh, you could eat, and you could stay there. You didn't have to pay anything, unless you wanted to contribute something, you could do that. And uh, sometimes people are skeptical at first, what's he getting out of this and all this? But after what, they realize he doesn't want anything. Some people will come and say, oh, there's a beautiful beach right over the hill. It's called Anjuna. So we, we got the house in Anjuna, set up the same house again. A couple of years, Anjuna became the center of the scene. It became well known. And there, there was no more suspicion about what, what's he getting out of this. <laughs> they had become used to me being there. Hey, Eddie, you're, you're enlightened, man. You're enlightened. I didn't know what they were talking about. I said, I'm not enlightened. I'm just older than you, that's all. Because I was uh, twice as old as they were. I was in my 40s. They were in their 20s. See, uh, I used to listen to Indian classical music, and I would dance. I would dance to the music. I was sitting down dancing, just moving my arms to the music. And one day, my arms started to move by themselves. I couldn't believe it. What fucking energy! I'm not making any effort at all. <clears throat> and this had never happened to me before. I was amazed. I was just watching my arms going <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Then I felt this wham, power, like wham, buzzing, and like it was like uh, it was like the whole body is shaking and. Um, <laughs> and suddenly there was a light in my room <coughs> like a sun very bright but it didn't bother me to look at it it didn't bother my eyes it didn't hurt my eyes to look at it in fact I could not look away from it if I looked there, it was there. If I looked there, it was there. If I shut my eyes, it was there. If I opened my eyes, it was there. You couldn't get away from it. And uh, I felt this power and all this light and all this. Just, this is the source of all life. This is where all life comes from. And I thought, if it's in me, it has to be in everybody. So that was a kind of a wisdom thing that happens just automatically. If, if it the lights in me, then it's in everybody. We all come from the light. We must all come from the light. So the next thing was uh, realization was when we die, we all go to the light. Doesn't matter what you were, a criminal, <laughs> a, a bad guy, this, that. You, where else can you go after your death? There's nothing else. <laughs> but um, they want to believe. Some people want to believe. <laughs> Tell them, then, there's nothing to believe, man. It's just, <laughs> there's nothing you, see, there's nothing you can do to bring the light on. The best thing is to be completely disillusioned with everything, with everybody. <laughs> they have no illusions about anything be completely hopeless. Many, many of these gurus know what I'm talking about, uh, but um, they, they, they would give up their business if, uh, if, I were to, <laughs> if they told me, don't go, to, uh, lose all hope, and if, they, if they tell you, you go lose all hope and don't do this and don't do that, there's no money for them in that. You know. <laughs> U.G. Krishnamurti, he was a, he's a good one. He died a couple of years ago, but he was good. Throw in the towel, give it up, forget it. 
If it happens to you, the enlightenment, you would probably not want it anyhow. <laughs> you wouldn't like it. <laughs> if people had uh, uh, illusions or pre preconceptions about things, he would cut them right down, bang, bang, bang. <laughs> And uh, wisdom, there's no wisdom out there. It's in you all the time. You know. But see, people think there's a lot to learn. Keep on going then, keep on learning. <laughs> it ain't going to get you anywhere. But I guess uh, you, have to do, you have to do a lot of these things to realize that instead of somebody telling you. Usually I've been really happy I'm still alive. Uh, <laughs> I don't have any complaints, I mean, because I made my life. Uh, I've done what I want to do. I'm doing what I want to do. And uh, so, what can I complain? I, I can't complain about that. Uh, it's okay, I'm not, I'm not a worldly success or anything like that. That doesn't mean anything to me. My main thing is to get through each day and do what I want to do and not have to do anything I don't want to do. <laughs> Unworthy, I'm unworthy, but I, still people like me. I don't know. Wow. Oh.